Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome to Pro Cycling Manager 2023 pre release gameplay footage. We're going to start on this one with Pro Cyclist mode to see what is different about the dynamic objective system. You can see on the surface, our objective is quite simple work at the front for 20k so let's go ahead and do that for our team right away we'll go infinite relay and we'll put ourselves to the test early on for this punchy uh, cyanide cup this is a youth race and so it's it's not a major one uh, how many teammates do i have around well enough that we have a, a team of six anyway already getting credit for the work this part is unchanged let's go ahead and skip forward a bit and see if anything else occurs over the course of this particular stage or is it dynamic over the course of a stage race in the later part of this cup the breakaway of four still have a two and a half minute advantage and the peloton is down to just 30 riders already it's dropping very quickly as the quality of rider is quite low in the field so even though i'm not a good rider by any stretch of the imagination and i'm having to work for teammates who are stronger than myself you can see that actually Plyce and i are the only ones even left in the group here we have that medium mountain now so you're not instantly kind of jumping into that hills rating either when you're pushing for medium mountain makes it a little more worthwhile to try to hang on a little bit as you get a little excel acceleration here over the top but we hang on and the group is down to just 24 riders now and the breakaway has not been caught though it has been split one of those riders has been dropped 19 of us now chasing those front three 15k to go front three are completely split we've caught one of them to remain off the front though they are doing poorly at this point actually so am i you can see our pace our tempo is very high a uh, few riders getting back towards us front six pulling away i'm in the trailing group now it's just a front four i think i've made the right move by kind of being patient here as we have very little left might not be riding for a top four but in our first ever race riding for a potential top 10 is probably a pretty good start especially when we had the teammate role and served that role it has not changed by the way as we approach the end and use our gel 4k to go slow down for the final 3k uh, you can see i'm struggling on energy to keep up Plice is here but he's not leading me out one rider has ridden away around the corner there 1k to go i've got nothing for the final sprint i don't think i'm gonna get that top 10 here but we'll sprint it out i at least have a little bit of yellow bar on the way towards the finish line might be able to overtake a couple of these guys but it looks like we're gonna just miss a top 10 in our first race albanese prades varens killed has taken the podium for this one and yes we do miss out on the top 10 but certainly not by much 14th in our first ever race is a pretty good result especially with our last ounce of energy as we cross the finish line there's just a hint of yellow bar left up there in the corner the results screen has certainly changed it's got a different look to it i like the new look of the results screen but with that 14th place finish here's one thing that I was hoping to see with the dynamic objective system. I was hoping that as we approach the finish line, my role was teammate. As we approach the finish line and there's only two of us left, I was hoping that it would have been something more along, along the lines, you know, we get to that last 35K or 30K and the group has shrunk down. There's less than 30 riders here. I would have hoped for some sort of pop-up objective saying, all right, things have changed our hopes are now on you we want you to get in a top 20 finish okay that didn't happen the dynamic objective system seems to be more in tune with stage races and more longer term goals as opposed to changing on the fly within the stage itself however maybe that's still a possibility maybe that's something you would see if you were in the breakaway and that wasn't necessar necessarily your assignment. And maybe within the breakaway, 
you can then see that change. Moving ahead, a couple months actually, we're all the way into April already for this pro cyclist mode, but a couple things are standing out to me. One, the training structure and things that surround that training structure and the choices that you make. I don't want to give all of it away now. I'd like you to kind of get in and see. We've already done the new features. I've talked about those briefly, but here's the thing. I don't think fitness peaks exist in pro cyclist mode as we are accustomed to them, where you're locked in to get that big bonus. The fitness level and that trajectory of building fitness uh, that you see in that training structure, those A objectives, those B objectives, they build your fitness level. There are also specific training structures, and that was those icon ones that I was showing you in the features video, that allow you to specialize your training a bit more other than just being general. Now, the more you use those, the more fatigue you are going to incur. You're going to get more fatigue out of specialized training. However, as I try to hang on to the front of the field here, the the more you use those, the more they're going to provide you a bonus. Now, it's only April, and I've got a lot of fatigue. We're still in the safe zone, but for April, it's a lot. For not having had a single fitness peak, it's a lot. But like I said, I think it's been replaced. And I'm curious to see how this plays out long term in a series over a personal pro rider's career, because I do think that this is going to change how that all functions. Because I've trained as a stage racer, I've trained as a climber uh, over the last handful of weeks. And you can see that even though I was I was supposed to have a good positive race day condition, I didn't. Uh, receive that and that's that's just a negative draw on the day but despite having an overall zero race day condition I still have a plus two mountain I still have a plus two medium mountain now my fitness is a 98 so that can result in you know positive numbers but they shouldn't be this good as we have 10k to go and we're approaching the finish on this stage and I'm feeling semi-confident, not punchy hills, uh, but we're going to try to hit into that medium mountain sort of territory and get a 76 pushing 6k to go. We're going to gel up here in just a moment. Final 3.7k on this one. We're going to turn right and go uphill. 3.3k. I'm going to start pushing my medium mountain pace here towards the end, 2.9K. We're gonna have to go a little bit faster, but you can see I'm not punchy, so you can only go so fast. But that medium mountain holds at about a 90. So that's about the pace that I can kind of set right now. Inside 1K, still there, still thereabouts. 500 meters now pushing for the finish line. Definitely not competing for the stage win, but keeping up with the others. Now, my goal was to finish in the top 30 for the stage. They wanted me in the break. The breakaway wasn't happening, but we get 18th on the stage. That part's achieved. You get the bonus points. You get the XP. The XP system is still largely the same, but I don't know the training structure and how that all works. But I'm starting to get a feel here fairly quickly for what pro cyclist is going to be how it's developed uh, from the past couple of seasons on a time trial here i don't have total team control i do have oh, i have control of riders as i pass them but not otherwise oh that's that's interesting that is interesting i like how that works actually that was probably the strongest time trialist here in the field uh, or on the team I'm trying to spend as much time as I can on the front and it looks like the only pace I can really manage to set is about an 87 as anything harder uh, it takes a lot out of the team I do find it a little weird that the time trial and prologue are now split up on the ratings instead of saying like 
moving the flat rating over and going mountain medium mountain hills time trial prologue and then putting flat above cobble sprinted acceleration which all go together but that's okay they put it where they put it see how a lot of guys are struggling to keep up with my pace but i'm setting the tempo we were second 19 seconds down do i have teammates with me i can't see behind me so <laughs> Uh, they weren't far behind me. We do get second, just nine seconds down. So I did lead us to a pretty decent finish there. The third stage, we find ourselves in 11th overall. There's one more stage to go. And let's see how dynamic these objectives are. Has anything changed? Or is it really just the old system with a new name? I haven't seen anything so far uh, different about it. Well, this is rough for a couple reasons. One, a minus four draw today gives me a minus two overall. But also, this is not feeling like anything different about the uh, objective system, at least not the obje objective system that I thought was going to be varied. This is the same old system it was. I think what's different here is that A, B training structure, that objective system has evolved final 20k of gameplay for this particular view of pro cyclist mode and you can see that my really really low flat rating is hurting us and that minus two overall i have low stamina to begin with it's just a 58 and a minus two on that today is really really hurting uh, especially especially when it's a minus four overall compared to what we were supposed to have on the day uh, what a massive difference that would have made you know we, we probably would have additional eight stamina points that that would make a massive difference here in these final kilometers but here we are trying to hang on uh, we are still here in the group 77 in the peloton as you're seeing really the biggest climb besides the finishing climb and a few guys trying to attack but i'm really just trying to hang on to the position as best i can as we are very 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 tired and struggling today but we've made it through the penultimate climb a little down here a hill here as we set up into the final 4k slow down for that 2.8k now coming up on the finish line 1.9 doing that 90 stuff 1.4 a lot of guys looking to be a little bit fatigued here now sprinting sprinters going for it I'm just trying to not lose time and keep our <laughs> position, which I'm fading right now. Lawrence has won the stage. I will not lose time though. Just outside of the top 20, finished 36th on the stage with the 56 stamina. That's not bad and no T8 support. Number of riders are dropped and lose time, so we actually move into the top 10 and finish 7th. Overall, a 1-2-3-4 from the same team as that team time trial. Really, really digging deep and, and putting those guys ahead of the rest. The next best team gets four riders into the top 11, and then a couple individuals like myself squeezing through being the best of our teams. Fair enough, the system has changed. As we look at our uh, skill section, there are it's essentially the same but one key part has changed and that is fitness peak the description of it tells you what you need to know extend the consecutive duration of target periods meaning when we set up uh, a or b targets it covers a range it makes the range go longer where you're able to maintain a high fitness level but that's what you get now you have a high fitness level you have a better chance at a good race day condition. It's not quite like what it was before. Fatigue is a bigger factor as well as what I've already seen from this early experience. That's my key takeaway. The racing portion in pro cyclist mode is exactly the same. The objectives that they were talking about are those A, B training objectives in this area, the targets. That's different. That's going to do it for this first look at gameplay in Pro Cycling Manager 2023 for Pro Cyclist Mode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.